Hey you guys, it's Willow. So I decided to do a little investigating on Parker H. Steele, the famous FBI agent over the Heather Tucci and Randall Bean case. Well, supposed FBI agent. Here on this website, the Association for Certified Fraud Examiners, you can see that he was a speaker in April of 2015 for this organization. It says here, our speaker for our April meeting will be Parker H. Steele, FBI Special Agent. He is originally from Mississippi and before joining the FBI was a practicing attorney. He is the graduate, or he is a graduate of the United States Army Judge Advocate School and served as a JAG officer in Afghanistan as part of Operation Enduring Freedom. With the FBI, he works primarily on the White Collar Crime Squad, primarily dealing with complex financial crimes. You know, you guys, I had a really hard time finding any information about this dude. Like, I couldn't even find a photo of him. I could not at all. So if you can find a photo of him, please email me the photo. My email address is in the description. I did find the address to his Batesville, Mississippi location, which apparently is a single location business. And um, when he was open, um, I don't know if he's still open or the business was open, but when this law firm was open, he had two employees and their annual revenue was just over $100,000 a year. And it was established in 2010. I actually looked up to see how far Batesville, Mississippi was for me. And it's like three and a half, almost four hours away. This right here is a email correlation between... Heather Ann Tucci and the Facebook police who did not really identify themselves as anyone. It was just kind of interesting. And she responds to them beautifully. And it was just absolutely hilarious to read because she sounded so much more professional and so much more educated and more aware of the law and how it's written than whoever these Facebook police were and it's just great so it's a lot but it's a good read so if you guys want to pause it and read it you can if not I will put a link in the description here is a couple of little things I found also on Parker H Steel and you can see um, another address here and um, that for a law firm and this legal directories of legal like search engine or whatever apparently it's been started since 1935 but that's not true because on the better business bureau it says that it was started in 1977 and the better business bureau opened a file in 1984 but i do know something that did start in 1935 and that was the 1935 banking act which I found that whole thing, like, is that a coincidence or what? Like, are they just messing with us? Like, why? I don't know. It was just weird. And I don't know. It was just crazy to me. Like, I had to, it was just weird. So, I mean, what do you think? Tell me in the comments below because I thought it was weird. The place didn't really start till, you know, 77. This right here, too, is kind of weird because Parker Steele in the Washington, D.C. case says, hey, you know, my name is spelled this way, and then on the other case in Tennessee, he spells it a different way. And spelling it a different way on the record, that's not a good thing for court documents. So I don't know what's going to happen with that, but that's weird, too. <laughs> okay, Parker Hayes, his middle name is actually Hayes, H-A-Y-S. Parker Hayes Steele, he's been licensed for 13 years, an attorney in Batesville, Mississippi, as you can see, and as you saw previously in other little screenshots I have. Not very much interesting stuff about him. He acquired his license to practice law in 2004, and as you can see, it was updated on 8-16-2017, which I found really weird because that's really when everything kind of blew out of the water with this stuff. Batesville is a city 
in Panola County, Mississippi, United States, and the population was 7,463 people at the 2010 census. So since I live in Louisiana, you guys, I did do a Google Maps. Batesville is three hours and 58 minutes away from me. I really, really wish that it wasn't that far because if it wasn't, I would totally drive there because since it's such a small town, there has to be a human being in that town somewhere that he's like hooked up with or had some type of relationship with or something where I could actually investigate and find out who he is as a person. But it's really far away. Maybe next time I'm in Mississippi, like if I get super bored, I might take a trip there. But that's a really long way for my 1995 Volkswagen Golf to go. And I don't want my car to break down because I'm chasing after an F FBI agent. That's insanity. <laughs> but anyways, thanks you guys for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Please leave me some comments down below of how you feel about all this information I found. If you find a picture, please email it to me because I searched and I couldn't find anything. I need to look up Batesville and see like what high school is there and see what high school he could have possibly went to. I have so much stuff to look up on this dude. But anyways, thanks you guys. I love you and you guys have a great day or a great night or whatever time it is where you're at in the world. Bye.